Hey guys, Joel back with some uh, OCR FSMQ additional mathematics um, lessons and today we are doing the midpoint and the length of a line using algebra and the relationships of coordinates. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty much the learning objective. Uh, you can see it on the screen there. And uh, yeah, let's crack into it. Uh, so last lesson we did the advanced level gradient and... Um, we realised that we can work out the gradient of a piece of a line without actually drawing it out on paper and um, we said we had the power and all, all you need to know is the two coordinates that we know that a, a line goes through and uh, we knew that if a, a line went through AB and CD then the gradient of a line is D minus B over C minus A but uh, we like to think of this as back take back over front take front, nice and easy. Um, just let the formula do the work, but be careful of those double negatives. So, uh, that was last lesson. Uh, that is in a playlist, which is for OCR FSMQ. That was uploaded a few days ago. Uh, well, two days ago, in fact. Uh, so go and check that out if you haven't already. Uh, pardon me. Uh, but today we are doing advanced level midpoint. So if a line goes through AB and CD, then the uh, exact middle of the line is at A plus C over 2, uh, comma B plus D over 2. But think of this as the average of the X's and the average of the Y's. So there's your line uh, AB and CD, and your midpoint is the, the geometrical centre of that line, which will be the average of the X's, so A plus C over 2, uh, and the average of the y's, b plus d over 2. Nice and straightforward. There you go, there's your formula there. Uh, you have to learn that one as well, unfortunately. Uh, but it's a nice and easy one to remember. Because it's common sense, really. Uh, if you want the exact middle, it's known as the average. Uh, so, yet again, let the formula do the work, but be careful of uh, double negatives. Uh, you shouldn't really uh, be getting too many double negatives, because it's all addition work. But... Um, you never know. Now then, uh, so here's an example. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line that joins 3, 2 and 7, 11. So, uh, there's one midpoint equation. Uh, the average of the x's, comma, the average of the y's. And we'll put in with numbers, uh, like last time. So 3 plus 7 over 2, comma, 2 plus 11 over 2. So that cancels down to 5 and comma 6.5. So that is all you would be expected to do to find the midpoint of um, a line. And it's usually to do with circles. Uh, that is a very bad circle. But if you want to find the, the centre and you were given the diameter and you've got um, coordinates there and there, you can find out the centre of the circle by doing the midpoint. So that's just something interesting to, to think of for the future. Uh, circles will be at a later episode. Uh, here's another one. Uh, so find the midpoint of the line that goes through 5, 9 and 3, minus 3, 6. Uh, minus 5, 9 by the way. Uh, midpoint formula, average of the x's, average of the y's. Uh, put in your numbers, minus 5 plus minus 3 uh, over 2, comma, 9 plus minus 6 over 2. That cancels down to minus 4, comma, 1.5. So uh, that is pretty much midpoint. Just learn it. Uh, formula there and yeah just think about that um, this is a bit more of an interesting one uh, where must you position the point AB so generic bland point in order to have the midpoint of AB uh, and minus 410 at the point of that so let's think about where midpoint equation again average of the x's average of the y's um, and set that equal to A2 because that's what the examiner wants us to get to in the end. Um, so there you go, a plus uh, minus 4 over, th over 2, comma b plus 10 over 2. So compare the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. Uh, a minus 4 over 2 must equal minus 8, so a must be a minus 12. If you take that 2 up there, that'll make a minus 16. Take over the minus 4 becomes plus 4, so that becomes minus 12. And same with the y coordinate, b plus 10 over 2 must equal 2. So b equals a minus 6 by bringing that 2 up there, bringing the 10 over, and uh, you will get 4 minus 10, which is a minus 6. So that is pretty much the hardest thing you can get asked to do with midpoint. But uh, we're also doing uh, advanced level line length today, that's also on the OCR course. 
and uh, if a line goes through A, B, C, D, seeing a common theme here, then the length of the line that joins them is the square root of back take back squared added to front take front squared. That's what you need to think of it. Um, back take back squared added to front take front squared and then square root it. I'm just going to um, get rid of those pen marks because they're, they're quite obnoxious there. There you go. Um, Alright, we'll go back to pen mode. And yeah, so there you go. And uh, for you eagle eyed people, this formula comes from uh, the wonderful world of Pythagoras, where a squared plus b squared must equal c squared. So if we want c, uh, if we wanted c, we'll have to root the answer of them two added together. So that's pretty much what that is. Um, just thing to, to note there. Uh, yet again, uh, let the formula do the work, but be careful of double negatives, especially in this because uh, you know, it can be quite difficult. So here's an example. What is the length of a line that joins 7, 3 and 8, 2? Well, quote your formula. Uh, length equals back take back squared added to front take front squared, all rooted. Put in your numbers. Uh, so 2 minus 3, all squared. Add it to 8 minus 7, all squared, and rooted. Simplify that, you get the root of minus 1 squared. Add it to the uh, minus 1 squared, which is going to be root 2. And that is your answer. So uh, leave your answer as a surge. You can give the, the um, examiner a decimal if you want, but they might ask for the exact length. And if he asks for the exact length, then you leave it as a third. Let's do another one. Uh, what is the length of the line that joins six eight uh, minus six eight to four minus two? Well, quote your formula: uh, the root of back take back squared added to front take front squared. Put in your numbers: minus two and minus eight, and four minus minus six double negative. There, that's going to become a plus. So there we go. We end up with length equals the root of uh, minus ten squared added to ten squared, which is going to be. The root of 100 plus 100, which equals root 200. Split your third into a uh, root 100 root 2, which equals 10 root 2. But I think uh, the examiner would give you the benefit of the doubt if you just wrote root 200 in an exam. But most model, modern calculators will give it to be 10 root 2 anyway. And remember, you are allowed a calculator in the OCR uh, FSMQ exam. So uh, no worries there. And let's do another one, the uh, one with k involved again. The length of the line that joins k7 to 8 minus 5 is 13. Uh, what are the possible values of k? So quote your formula. Uh, getting bored of hearing about that now. That's the formula. Put in your numbers like that. Um, no double negatives to worry about this time. But minus 5 minus 7 is minus 12. Remember, so um, yeah, and, and remember this is set equal to 13 because it tells you so in the question. Uh, tidy it up, uh, square both sides to get rid of this ugly uh, square root sign. Uh, you can you can you know wait until the end to do that, but I did it straight away, and you end up with minus 12 squared, which is 144, uh, and um, 64 minus 16k plus uh, k squared, which is the expansion of that bracket there. Tidy it up, and you end up with that, and you know, quadratic formula if you're stuck, but uh, that actually does factorise to k minus 3, k minus 13 equals 0. Must keep writing equals 0. I never used to do that and probably drop marks because of it. So your k equals 3 or 13, and uh, you should get two possible, possible answers because of that letter there. S is plural, so more than one. And that is that. So Yet again, uh, another shortish lesson, but this is um, this comes up every year, pretty much on the FSMQ. Uh, as I said before, I can ask you stuff on circles um, and just line geometry in general, possibly uh, linked to triangles as well. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and have learned something from it. Uh, please leave a like rating if you did find it helpful. Um, you know, I really. Would like to know if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. Uh, if you have any feedback or things you'd like to see, uh, leave that in the, the, the comments as well. 
I'd love to hear your feedback. And uh, very good luck with your FSMQ. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next time with uh, the equation of a straight line and intersection. So uh, quite a big lesson coming up. Uh, quite an imperative one uh, for the rest of the course because those two things do pop up a lot uh, throughout the course. So yeah, tune in for that one if you're interested. And I shall see you guys next time. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.